This is your Kyle Country Tip of the Week, brought to you by Mode One Knives. This week, let's talk about calling in the wind. There are some positives with wind, and there's definitely a whole lot of negatives. So let's go over the positive things first. Um, I like a little bit of wind, say like maybe a five to seven mile an hour wind, just because it helps hide some of the noise that we make when we're going in and getting set up. Um, beyond that, I really don't like a bunch of wind. It makes it much harder to call in the wind because the sound simply doesn't carry that far. So assuming you're using an electronic caller, um, there's a couple things you can do to work with higher winds up to say 20 miles an hour. Um, work a crosswind. So you got the wind going from right to left. Um, a headwind is where it's coming straight at you. Working a headwind in the wind is much more difficult just because your sound doesn't carry that far when you're having a headwind. So if you have a crosswind going right to left, your sound actually can get across that a little bit further. But to maximize how far out you can actually call, how much territory can you call, put your call up off the ground, put it in a bush. So when we're out calling in the desert, I'd like to find a bush, you know, the tallest bush I can find within reason. So say three to four feet off the ground, I'll put my call on top of that bush and aim at the direction that we're gonna be calling. And that actually can carry my sound much further, maximizing my chances of a coyote actually hearing it and coming in. Um, when you get over 20 miles an hour, in my opinion, uh, it's really hard to call coyotes. Maybe a couple hundred yards is as far as that sound's gonna carry in that kind of wind. So we usually don't call when it gets that high, but up to around 20 mile an hour gust, get the call up off the ground and work a crosswind on it. That's gonna maximize your chances of calling in a coyote. And that's your tip of the week.